Here we go. Welcome to the real world.
We see at the end of Matrix Revelation that Neo dies a sacrificial death where he takes on the appearance of being crucified on a cross. His dead body ends up laying down in the form of a crucifix and the architect declares, it is done, recalling the words of Christ on the cross, it is done or it is finished. The Wachowski brothers went even so far as to name one of the ships in the Matrix, the Gnosis. Here we see Neo getting out of an elevator and being worshipped as Messiah, who has been sent to save him. Just as he gets out of the elevator and a woman asks Neo to watch over her son, Jacob, who is said to be a crew member that serves aboard the Gnosis. Hollywood director Richard Stanley admitted that, I guess one could see the whole of the mass media as it stands today as some sort of extension of Gnostic faith. Maybe cinema itself is acting as some kind of handmaid into the apocalypse. He also acknowledged that the Gnostics turned the creator God into the devil and the devil into God. Now it's hard to believe that it's a coincidence that both Philip K. Dick, who inspired the Matrix and uh, Alan Moore who wrote V for Vendetta, both Wachowski movies, that both of these people uh, claim to be possessed by spirit entities, Alan Moore actually calling his a demon. Like Dick, Keanu Reeves has claimed that he is used by demonic forces while acting. Reeves claims that he cannot act until the muse arrives and that he takes what he refers to as quote demon rides end quote. Director Taylor Hackford revealed that one of the reasons Keanu Reeves was chosen to play the lead role of Satan's son and the devil's advocate was because Keanu is, quote, a guy with lots of demons in him, and I was trying to tap and utilize that. Notice that the model number of the Nebuchadnezzar ship is Mark III, number 11. This is yet another clue that Neil Anderson, or the new son of man, is a long-awaited Gnostic redeemer. Mark 3.11 in scripture is the testimony of demons when confronted by the Lord Jesus Christ, acknowledging him as the son of God. Mark 3.11 states, And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. Nebuchadnezzar was an ancient enemy of God's people and a picture of the Antichrist. The Wachowski brothers stated that, quote, The Nebuchadnezzar is indeed a biblical reference from the book of Daniel. Nebuchadnezzar not only threatened God's people with death who would not worship his image, but had visions of the coming Antichrist of which he himself was a picture. The book of Daniel states that his image was 60 cubits high, 6 cubits wide, and that there were 6 different instruments used to worship him. Nebuchadnezzar, which represents freedom in the matrix, in reality represented oppression and slavery. In fact, Nebuchadnezzar destroyed Jerusalem, known as Zion, burned down God's temple in 586 BC, and enslaved God's people, hardly a depiction of emancipation. The Wachowski brothers give us other clues as to Neil Anderson's identity in his very name. The Wachowski brothers acknowledge that names were carefully chosen for the characters and are impregnated with meaning. They stated that the names of the characters, quote, were all chosen carefully and all of them have multiple meanings, end quote. They also point out that this applies to numbers as well. The name Neil Anderson is quite revealing as Neo is the Greek word for new and Ander is from the Greek andros for man. Thus we have son of man. Thus, New Anderson is the new Son of Man. The Bible uses the title Son of Man in reference to the Lord Jesus Christ in connection with His first coming in Daniel 7.13 and in Luke 19.10, and in reference to His second advent to defeat Antichrist in Matthew 24, 29-31, the book of Revelation. In the Revelation, Neo is referred to as both Savior and Messiah. Neo Anderson as the new Son of Man is a Gnostic Savior, but from a biblical perspective, he is a false Messiah, a picture of the Antichrist. What we have here as an ancient Gnosticism is an inversion of truth. In the Matrix Reloaded, Zion, which biblically would be a picture of heaven or the heavenly city, is changed into a place of Gnostic orgies. They gather underground in the temple for prayers, yet engage in simulated sexual perversion. In the Bible, Zion refers to the heavenly city of God. In the Matrix, Zion is the ultimate party place. Tank declares, if the war was over tomorrow, Zion is where the party would be. 